We all love to see like someone switch their life around, like turn the whole ship around, like from a shitty person to a good person. That's the journey of today's character. Yo, welcome back to the Bombs of Expensive Taste. It's me, your host, Ippo, and I'm back again with another character analysis video. I know we were gone for a day for Sunday, and we're back again this Wednesday and next Sunday. We're back like we never left. Yo, today's character analysis is another Ippo video. We're having Omeza Wakun. Also, before we get into it, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I mean, you can share it later, but like, like, comment, subscribe, and check out the rest of the video. Enjoy. Omezo is one of those characters that we saw from the very first episode, and like, initially we thought he was a shit, he was a shit person. And like, we first saw him, he was beating Ippo, like that was our first introduction to him. He was torturing Ippo essentially, and Takamura came through and he beat Omezo and his crew. All these things, like, we saw Imoizawa and his crew, like, him and his two buddies, I believe. The other one that looked like uh, the character from Slam Dunk. You're gonna love it if you get the reference. We saw Imoizawa and initially, like, he was a horrible person and he always tortured Ippo, saying Ippo smelled like fish and all these things, like, horrible things. And he beat Ippo, took his, took his money, I believe. Like, he was the classical anime bully. He had the hairstyle to go with it, like the whole shebang. But then after he beat Ippo, which kind of led it, actually not even kind of, like directly led to Ippo joining Kamagawa Gym and like him getting involved in boxing. He started boxing and then Omezawa found out that Ippo was a boxer. And slowly but surely he started to soften up to Ippo and like cozy up to Ippo. And he started being a better person to Ippo, pulling him, like trying to make Ippo friends and stuff like that. And by graduation day, they were they were buddies. And like Gomeza was pulling Ippo, like you gotta take photo with this person, that person. It was an amazing thing, right? And like you see his change slowly, because like he went to the first boxing match, he was thinking Ippo was just gonna get whooped. And he saw Ippo beat the guy, and he's like, what the hell? Have you been beating this 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 absolute model of a human being, right? And all these things started to build up in like Omezo and he started thinking he needs to be better. Like he was a shitty person, he needs to change his ways essentially. They were in the final year of high school and so you see him slowly develop as a character and like change his ways. But the real change in my opinion of Omezawa's character really like took place when Ippo, when his mom got sick and Ippo stopped going to the gym and a lot of people thought Ippo might retire. And Omezawa being his fan, he was like, you know what, I need to step up and he came through and he was like, I need to go in. I don't know how I'm going to go in. But he, like, he walked into Ippo and he was like, you know what? I'm going to help out. And he helped out for the first day, but he it took everything out of him. And after that, Ippo didn't think Omeza was going to come back for the second day. And he saw Ippo essentially give up his boxing career because he knew he could not do it while his mom was at the hospital. And like he needed help. So Omezawa came back the following day at the crack of dawn to help out Ippo and that to me that scene specifically like it really stood out to me and it shows the kind of person that Omezawa was or was trying to be at that point and Omezawa started then he started wor working full-time in the, in the Makonoichi uh, fishing boat which allowed Ippo to get back to the gym after his mom after Ippo's mom got released from the hospital um, Omezawa became kind of a family member to the Makonoichis so him working as part of the fishing boat like allowed Ippo and him to like their friendship to blossom and like this allowed their friendship to bloom essentially like after after Omezawa joined the boat leaving leaving them having a lot of interaction and like him helping out with the boat uh, reducing the workload for the mom Ippo allowing allowing Ippo to return back to the gym to give a minor spoiler Omezawa after that he left the boat and when he left the boat that was a really emotional scene in the manga like where he came and he was gonna he felt heavy to tell the mom like you know every time your son came back from school and he seemed beaten up i was the guy that did it but like he felt heavy to tell him obviously understandably so right like it's not an easy thing to come to someone's mom and be like yo you know every time your son came back i was the guy that's been beating the shit out of him you can't so like he was trying to say that then his mom was like i know and she was like you shouldn't really bow your head. You're part of the family. Blah blah blah. I really love that scene. Like it was a, it was a, ter a tearjerker, right? Like I, I felt emotional in that scene. And like he was like, Ippo, what am I to you essentially? Am I your bully?" And he was like, "Omezawa, I know who you are. 
you're my best friend and I'm like oh my god the feels the emotions like it felt like that moment from like um your name that moment from your name that was the scene that was the kind of emotions i got from that scene i know that one's animated and this one was in the manga but like jordan morikawa was in his bag for that one i don't know morikawa is deep so omezo ultimately we know his goal is to be essentially to be a mangaka and his goal has been he's been inspired by Apple and he's like that's his goal he wants to like essentially write a manga about Apple, which makes me think i know this is a side tangent theory but like i believe that omezawa is essentially Epo. no sorry omezawa is essentially morikawa and like morikawa has a friend that joined boxing and which led him to start writing about boxing and this is the this is essentially a, a tribute to his friend that he used to bully as a kid and now 20 30 years down that he's been writing Epo, he's still giving the tribute to his friend quote-unquote Ippo right which I, I think is a phenomenal thing and like we see him like slowly develop especially in the manga we see him slowly develop get his skill set right and like he's been writing he's been writing mangas and he's been assisting and Ippo has helped him out a few times which I love it like even though he's left the company now Ippo still are friends with him and like he comes to watch Ippo's matches or rather Ippo's fights and I love seeing that relationship bloom and like even the other guys from Ippo's gym they know about Omeza. Omeza was part of the squad now and I really like that. I really love that interaction and the scene there like for me showed how much he has grown as a uh, mangaka was when he wrote a prototype and he brought it to Ippo to read and Ippo called Itagaki. Itagaki called the squad Awoki, Kimura and Takamura. They pulled through. When they pulled through they were so enthralled with reading this uh, this not panel like this essentially the entire one shot and like they were so moved that they were tearing the pages off like and he was so excited and like this is how much he's inspired people to read his his work essentially right i really love that but yeah so it's been the omizawa video i don't think you see a lot of people talking about omizawa uh but omizawa is one of the goats like you gotta respect him like especially his journey from a bully to the best friend of the hero Right, I really love that and I really want to see where his character goes in the future. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Bums out.